Maya began her path to healing. She resists the urge to talk to Corrine while she concentrates on her yoga practice as Dayan advised. But she can't help herself and calls Corrine, where she finds a voicemail instead. Corrine missed Maya's call and she appeared to be not intrigued. I've arrived at Corina. Kindly send me a message. Hello, it's me. Corrine checks her phone once more, and this time she receives a call from Maya. Maya telling Corrine that she thinks Diane's therapy is working because she is going to sessions. Maya lets Corrine know the amount she misses her. Sadly, Corrine does not appear satisfied or eager to learn more. Okay, let me see you. I miss you, I love you, and I could do better. Dan Corrine returned home yet just to get not many things. She continues to stay in the hotel. Maya tells Corrine that she can always come home and tries to stop her from leaving. In any case, this just made Corrine more annoyed as she tells Maya she's just doing those treatment meetings and other stuff just to keep her work and not to save their relationship. I'm only here to get some things. You can always return home. I can't just jump right back into this with you when I see you in that hospital bed and think about what you did to yourself. I didn't spend the majority of my year pleading with you for assistance. Maya attempts to prepare lasagna. This food is something uniquely great since this is likewise what Karina provided for Maya when they had their most memorable kiss. Maya considered cooking in an effort to demonstrate her desire to reclaim Karina. However, Karina informs Maya that she is free to enter her office in that manner and is not required to do so. Log in. Hi. Oh, I hope I don't have to interrupt. I gave you something very special. This is lasagna. You. Maya, you can't just dorm here with lasagna. You cannot. At Grace Sloan Hospital, Maya and Ben examine Bailey and Karina. Maya is concerned about Karina's well-being. She finally locates her at the hospital as she searches for her. However, Karina says thanks to Maya for looking at her, triumphant her back was as yet sufficiently not. You're great, I appreciate you coming. Hello, Jackie. Maya stays at the hotel with Corrine to ensure her safety. Corrine says thanks to Maya for remaining and for letting her vibe awk for the entire evening. However, Corrina clarifies that she still requires additional time to heal and that it shouldn't be more than that. Maya gets it and inquires as to whether it's oak, she can remain with her at the inn. Be that as it may, Corrine says they can talk things throughout sometime later. Hey, I appreciate your presence. Therefore, we slept last night in the same room. It was nice, but we should not allow it to continue. Something extra beyond that we were only sleeping in the same room, of course. Ben assures Corrine that Maya is improving and that she is doing well in her therapy sessions with Diane. Yet at the same time, Corrine is uncertain about it and requirements evidence. She needs to see genuine changes inside Maya and ensure Maya won't hurt herself once more. What might be said about, you as well. I've learned that living with Maya started to feel like living with my father. However, I ended up moving back in. I am not a reward, and this is not a checklist. I must ensure that all of her priorities are met. Then she won herself again when things don't go the manner in which she needs. I need evidence that she won't return to her previous ways. Do you want more queer content? Then kindly buy in and hit the notification.